I believe that we will win. You said it first, Steve. There you go. There you go. Marcus, thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, so CBS 8's Abby Black was at VA House Arena where San Diego State was hosting an epic watch party. When the final buzzer sounded, that arena exploded. So now she found out across the campus. Let's go ahead and join her live. She is in the college area. Abby, that moment when Lamont Butler hit the shot, I mean, your microphone just happened to be hot so we could hear it. Oh my goodness, that place erupted. Oh my gosh, you didn't even have to be in Houston. I thought I was in the best place to watch this game. I mean, at VA House Arena with all these San Diego State fans. huge win so they're pouring out of the Ahas Arena they're out here on the streets at college in Montezuma partying it up and ready to go because we said go Aztec entire second half until Lamont Butler made the game winning shot at the buzzer I don't even know what just happened but we're here we're on the court we're going to the championship! Yeah! We're winning it all! Bring it home! We were in the right place as fans stormed the court. Aztecs win! Pure Aztec euphoria. The mayor, alumni, students, future alumni. Let's go! Let's go, Sandero! Every game there was hope. Me and my pops never missed a game this whole entire season. Yeah. 12 years we waited for this. We love this. Now for the first time in SDSU history, the fifth seed men's basketball team is heading to the NCAA championship. Everybody doubted us. San Diego never been good. You know what I'm saying? We came and we showed out. Butler at the last shot. You know what I'm saying? And we go in the championship, baby. Yeah. Storm in the court. Cheer. Viejas Arena to the streets. A heavy police presence in the college area. Fans poured out into the streets. Go Aztecs! Ooh! Aztec fans are celebrating tonight, but no, this isn't over. Oh, it's not over yet. Let's go. Job's Gov, not finished. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Now, SDSU has not announced yet the details for Monday's watch party, but no matter where you watch the Aztec take on the Huskies, you can always watch it right here on CBS 8. Let's go, Aztecs. Let's do it. Go Aztecs. And I have to believe that San Diego State is going to go ahead and open oh, yeah. Viejas Arena back up. I mean, yeah. they've already done that a couple of times yeah, for the games. Clearly, you. they're getting a good turnout. Yes. So, you know, and what better place? And it's cool, too, because they're selling some, you know, merch there oh, and having a, a good time. Experience. And uh, it is going to be a great Probably one of the best atmosphere. places, but another good place is down in Pacific Beach because fans are still celebrating the big win down there. Regina Yurita is out there tonight. Regina, is the party still going? Well, guys, I think everybody made it from VA, the Viejas Arena over here to PB to celebrate that big win, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing uh, Aztecs fans starting to trickle in. So we're actually here at Backyard, where a lot of people have been coming up to us saying, man, did you see that game? And I'm like, absolutely. We were there watching it with all these fans. We started at Miramar, uh, the brewing company there. People were glued to that TV. But I want you guys uh, to follow me here at Backyard uh, with some fans who have been just celebrating uh, this entire time. We're going to squeeze in here. Let's see if we can. Guys. Oh, my goodness. So you guys were telling me you guys were watching this game, right? How did you guys feel? Oh, my God. I just to say the least. And then at the last fucking, what, 17 seconds? No swearing. Uh, the last few minutes, how, how did you guys feel? Oh, my gosh. It was insane. I was jumping up and down. Everybody has been 
just chanting and screaming uh, for the Aztecs. But what an amazing, incredible game. And we're obviously going to stay here and just talk to more Aztec fans who are just so happy about this win. I'm going to send it back to you, Kirsten and Steve. Aztecs fans who I hope are taking uh, Ubers, Lyfts, or have other rides home because the party clearly has been going on and we want to apologize yeah. for the one little bit of profanity. Clearly, folks excited. People are very been excited. Been drinking a little bit. Yeah. Live TV. Um, but great job by Regina to move that conversation to the other girl who right. had a little more to say. <laughs> anyway, we are all excited. We are all excited. Yes, and you know, we're going to keep it family friendly because that was an opportunity for people today downtown. Families came together to celebrate the big game and they watched it live too. Let's go and join Rocio De La Fe. She is there with more. Rocio. Well, you know, the, it's a Saturday night here in the Gaston Quarter. The Padres game ended a little while ago, so there's plenty of people here right now. And even though the Aztecs game ended several hours ago now, there's still plenty of Aztecs fans here tonight still celebrating that huge and epic team win earlier today. Now, that game winning shot had everyone so excited. I want you to take a minute, uh, a moment to take a look at how fans reacted to that. This is a moment that fans here at the Final Four viewing party downtown celebrated that epic buzzer beater to win the game in advance to the national championship. People were in a state of shock, euphoria, disbelief, you name it. But most of all, they were just so happy to watch their team pull such a big comeback and go on to beat Florida Atlantic. Now, we caught up with fans right after that big moment. Here's what they had to say. Yeah! One second left! And we're in the finals. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. This is crazy. This is so awesome. That was the best game I've ever seen. It was amazing. Final seconds. Are you kidding me? Let's go. That was incredible, right? Now, what a great moment for SDSU, the program, and of course, for the entire city of San Diego. Now, the team will go up against UConn Monday night in Houston for that final championship game. Fans I spoke to today say they'll be ready to cheer on their team. We're live in the Gas Slam Quarter. Rocio de la Fe, back to you guys. They will be ready indeed. Oh. It is going to be exciting. And man, is she in the perfect spot? Padres mm -hmm. getting their first win of the season yes. tonight. So we got that going for us. Yes. We got San Diego State. Mm. Oh, Who says San Diego it is, is not a sports town? It is a town, good day to be here. Narrative. Okay, so fans are all over the streets of San Diego giving a shout out to the Aztecs. But right now, Twitter is flooded with posts calling out the team on their epic win and their trip to the national championship. One fan said, Aztecs, baby, never give up. Never give up. We are going to the championship game, baby. I know that's right. I know that's right. Another post said, I will never forget this moment. Thank you. Hashtag Aztecs making this SDSU girl very proud. And here's one more. The most clutch play by any San Diego player on any San Diego team in the history of <laughs> San Diego to win a huge nationally televised game. Hashtag SDSU and Aztecs. Way to go. Everybody fired up. Oh. So excited to see. I saw a bunch of NBA players sending some props to Lamont yes. Butler for that shot. Yes. I mean, that was clutch. That's what you need people, in that time. Yeah, people are watching. Every, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh, it's not Duke in North Carolina. We're not, you know, we don't have that to was a great mm -hmm. game. I don't care where you <laughs> were watching, so who you root for. It was a great game. And all those fans that were cheering the Aztecs on today will have one more chance to watch them compete for the national title. All right, so here are the details you need to know. The Aztecs will play against UConn on Monday. You can watch that game right here on CBS 8. Tip-off is set for 6.20, but pre-game coverage, you might want to watch that. It starts at 5.30. Now we're going to take a short break from our Aztecs coverage to talk about another story that all San Diegans need to know. The wet, rainy weather. Yes, I said it. It's on its way back. Oh, nothing but sunny skies right here, even at, what, 10, 9 o'clock at night? I mean, <laughs> we're all excited about what we saw today. Sean, how about those Aztecs? How about that? I'm on the bandwagon, huh? <laughs> yes. I'm telling you what, Stephen Kirsten, I, you know, down here at Wind and Sea, you think it's all about just surfing and hanging out at the beach. Well, you know, Wind and Sea is known for the Wind and Sea Surf Club, 
and a couple bars around the area. And I got to tell you, while I was watching the game here at the house, Molly couldn't take it. She had to go and walk Winston. And she said that she could hear up on the bike path the Nautilus Tavern, the crowd just exploded. I could hear the shack just a half a block away, people screaming in the neighborhood. It was absolute pandemonium. And you know what they say about a thriller, right? The, the butler did it. Get it? The butler did it, Steve. Hey, here in San Diego, we couldn't have had better weather to enjoy this. Let's take a quick look outside and see how things are shaping up. A really nice night. Look how clear it is all the way to the coastline. And as you look at the highs around the county today, we're starting to get close to where we should be for this time of year. Downtown 66, 67, the 30 year average 68, right around that neighborhood. Way do you see the rainfall totals? That's coming up in just a bit. As far as what we can expect here in San Diego, 63 tomorrow will start to cool down as a long wave trough sets up over the western United States. Maybe a sprinkle or two along the coastline. A better chance for that in the inland microclimates towards the foothills and into the mountains for sure. Temperatures cool down and then things start to dry out and warm up. Boy, have I got a forecast for you as we head towards the Easter holiday weekend. It should be fantastic. I'll show you the details coming up in just a bit. And on Monday, we need the butler to do it. We yeah. need everybody. Well, we need everybody. <laughs> we need the to Johnson do this. to do it. We We're need the Mensa to, to do it. W, <laughs> we need okay? the Matt Bradley to do it. <laughs> we need them all to do it. <laughs> all right, so we'll have you on CBS 8 News all the way, baby. Our coverage continues of this historic Aztec run to the national championship. And how